Next, we'll look at post interview editing and sharing. If you need to uh, touch up your audio recording or trim a little bit from the beginning, middle or end, GarageBand is your friend. GarageBand is a Mac application that's found on all the UVic libraries, music, and multimedia computers. If you own a Mac and would like to install it on your computer, as of January 2013, GarageBand can be purchased for $15 from the App Store. First thing we need to do is import uh, audio from the SD card into GarageBand. So the first thing you do is remove the SD card from the audio recorder and plug it into the side of the iMac, or if you're using your own computer, the side of your, your MacBook. Uh, once it's plugged in there, you simply drag it and drop it from the Finder into GarageBand, and we'll demonstrate how to do that in just one minute. If you want to use the USB cable method, you plug the USB cable that came with the audio recorder into the bottom of the recorder, and then plug it into the back of the iMac. And in the very same way, the file will show up in the Finder, and you can drag it and drop it into GarageBand. And we'll demonstrate that right now. So if we go over to GarageBand, open it up, we'll select a voice project. GarageBand creates the project for us and creates a workspace for us. I'll just resize that for us here. Once we have the GarageBand project open, we go over to the Finder where we plug the SD card into the side of the iMac in this case. We go down to the bottom, find the SD card, and we simply drag and drop the file into GarageBand and it gets for, uh, imported into GarageBand. I'll just move it over to the side there. And the most common thing you want to do with the audio file is trim off of the beginning or end. So first of all, let's listen to it. I press the space bar now and it starts playing the audio file. And if we move the cursor to the beginning of the file, it changes shape into a little bracket and I can then drag and drop the beginning of the audio file. So let's say I want to trim off that portion and there's a little bit the end that I want to trim as well. I move it over there and then I can trim off the end. I'll just move it over to the side so it starts at the beginning again. And if I move the cursor uh, back there, or the playhead back there, press the space bar, and it plays again. So that's how you trim off the beginning or end. Simply put the cursor at the beginning or end. Now let's say there's a portion in the middle we'd like to delete. Um, let's say the portion starts here and ends about there. So I go to the first spot, I go to the edit menu, and select split from the edit menu and it'll split the audio file at the point where the playhead is. Then I'll move it to the end of where I wanted to remove. I'll move the playhead there, make sure I select that portion of the audio, go up to edit and split one more time and there we go. We've isolated the part of the audio file that I'd like to delete. Now I can simply hit the delete button, it removes that portion of the audio and then I can just drag and drop the end part over again. And if I put the playhead at the beginning, we can play all the way through again. Very simple, uh, nice and effective. So if you want to make things even more professional, you could add some music uh, or overlay sound effects into your interview. This is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but a Google search should bring up some nice tutorials to teach you how to do this. Lastly, you want to export the file into a format for ar archival and or distribution. So for archival purposes, you want to export from GarageBand using CD quality. And we do this by going up to the Share menu, and then Export Song to Disk, and that'll bring up a dialog box here. And in our case, we'll select the uh, sorry, we'll deselect the compress button and that allows us to export in CD quality. We'll hit, hit the export button. It'll ask us where we want to save it. We'll save it in our downloads folder and hit save. 
and that exported the audio file in CD quality or archival quality to my download folder. Now let's say we want to create a version for uh, sharing on the internet. We'll go to share menu again, export song to disk, we'll select the compress option, and we have the option of doing it in ACC or AAC or MP3. We'll select MP3 and we'll select um, good quality just to get it relatively small and hit the export button and that saves it again in the download folder and from that point we can uh, share it any way we'd like which brings us to the last part of the lesson here and that is how to share it once we've got the files the archival copies will be quite large you could share it using a USB thumb drive or burn it to a CD. Uh, another option if there are larger files uh, that are too large for an MP or a thumb drive or a CD you could use uh, software tools like Google Drive or Dropbox to share them. And that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you're in the class I hope you're ready to do the in-class exercises.